I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 27th of January. Nasty winter storm setting up along Interstate 40 through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee in coming days. A big soaking here. What about winter weather problems for Alabama as it all ends? Let's talk about it and see what's happening here. First off this morning, it's cold. Let's look at uh, Birmingham coming from the sky cam on top of the Daniel Building. Most folks are in the 20s this morning. We'll go way down south to the campus of Troy University down at Pike County below Montgomery, where they're below freezing. And up at Mount Cheehaw, that's the uh, lodge at Cheehaw State Park. We have to wonder if they might see some icing problems up there Friday night or Saturday morning, uh, especially up that high elevation. We'll see. Here's a look at the uh, water vapor satellite shot this morning. There's your storm in the southern branch. Uh, moving into Baja in the southwest, and that'll be rolling on through. And you can see the northern branch, the polar vortex over Hudson Bay, delivering cold air. That is a wicked combination. And spell uh, it's going to spell a lot of problems for some folks. Uh, there's the temperatures this morning. As cold as 23 in Haleyville. Gadsden, 25. Birmingham at 28. Yeah, you bet we got some problems. There's your winter storm watches up from Amarillo to Memphis along the Interstate 40 corridor. Oklahoma's really going to be hard hit with this thing, with ice and snow. And the uh, ice could be enough for major power outages there, especially on the southern part of the state where it's going to be mostly ice and heavy snow likely for the northern part of Oklahoma. And we'll see how it plays out as it moves on to the east. Look at the snow outlook first. This is the uh, day two outlook for tomorrow. The uh, bullseye there from uh, New Mexico over into northwestern Arkansas. And on day three, which is Friday, the... Uh, a uh, snow bullseye again along Interstate 40, just north of here. The uh, low end probabilities do extend down into the extreme uh, northern part of Alabama, but the bulk of the uh, snow should stay just north of our state. And icing, freezing rain problems. Uh, this is day two tomorrow. Again, that's messy. Childress, Texas, uh, Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm telling you that we're going to have some real problems there. And then on day three, which is Friday, the uh, freezing rain issues are across uh, Tennessee and North Carolina. And uh, we can be thankful that mess will be just north of here because freezing rain, ice storms, no good. They might be pretty to see in pictures, but you don't want to be living there. And again, that's problematic. There's the precipitation for the next five days. Look at that three-inch bullseye over southeast Oklahoma where a lot of that's going to be falling in the form of freezing rain. If that's right, that could be a crippling ice storm out there. And the numbers here, about one to two inches on Friday of liquid. Should be a pretty good soaking. Let's look at the GFS. This is the uh, 06 e run at noon today uh, at 500 millibars. Polar vortex up north, southern branch with a storm coming into the southwest. Tomorrow, polar vortex goes nowhere. The trough gets closer. And down below, there's your winter storm unfolding with ice for Oklahoma. Uh, rain for Texas, maybe some thunder down there in South Texas. We stay dry tomorrow. Clouds will increase. Maybe some uh, light rain will break out late tomorrow night, and uh, there could be a little sleet involved as it begins because of the initial dry air and the low levels, but uh, that poses no trouble at all. And we'll go to Friday. Uh, this is noon, and again, uh, good rain should be falling near from uh, north of Houston up toward Huntsville. And the thickness, uh, the critical thickness value here, the, the blue dashed line, that is the 1,000 to 850 millibar thickness. That's the lower levels. The cold air is going to be very shallow, so we're going to the lower thickness values here. And again, notice it runs through the uh, Tennessee Valley. And again, most of the problems should be just north of that line. And again, initially, you'll see some ice and get up into snow. And boy, I tell you what, that's awfully close. Can you imagine if we had the colder air where their heavier precipitation was falling? And that's what they're going to have in Oklahoma tomorrow. Uh, but Friday just looks cold and wet. There's 6 o'clock Friday evening. That uh, critical thickness line stays up there near the Tennessee state line. We're just soaked with the cold rain. Now, midnight Friday night, this is where you've got the window for a little bit of a wintry mix. And, and we're not going to change our forecast at all. Just mention a soaking rain Friday and then potential uh, late Friday night and early Saturday morning for that changing over to a light wintry mix on the back side of this thing of some sleet or freezing rain or light snow. It could be enough to cause some bridge icing. But we don't think it will be anything major. Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, that would suggest maybe some wraparound snow flurries at that point and awfully cold, and then Saturday at noon, the whole thing is gone. And we stay in the 30s all day with a wind chill index below freezing all day. All right, other modeling. This is the Canadian, valid at uh, 6 o'clock Saturday morning. 
Very similar idea. This is the uh, the thickness here is 1,000 to 500 millibars. Uh, won't tell quite the story. Again, that uh, critical thickness line, the 540 line is near the shoals. But again, you can see that soaking rain. And again, some possibility of maybe a wintry mix on the backside. And the uh, European at the same time, very similar. Uh, just maybe some light stuff on the departing storm on the backside. Late Friday night, Saturday morning. RPM, same deal. Really, it doesn't depict any change over to uh, wintry precipitation there. And there's the GFS snow cover chart. Uh, this is uh, the accumulated snow, and you can see the uh, uh, bulk of that snow will stay north of us. And remember, on the southern flank of that, it's going to be ice. So for the big snows, uh, north Arkansas, or north uh, Oklahoma, north Arkansas, south Missouri, northern Tennessee, north of Interstate 40. And again, the icing problem should be along in about 50 to 100 miles south of Interstate 40. If you're traveling up in there, be aware this could be a big problem. And then uh, Sunday, dry. Uh, we'll start the day around 20, wind up around 50. Monday of next week will be dry. Tuesday, here comes the next trough, and rain breaks out on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, that feature is gone. Looks cool and dry. Got there a couple of more days, the end of next week. Another good-looking trough here. And the, the northern branch is really cut off this time. It's got the cold air trapped up north, so that would just be uh, wet, perhaps very wet. And then at the end of the forecast on the 11th, another short wave. And again, uh, no cold air involved with that. But the, the idea of occasional cold shots, I think you have to have that in there. And occasional southern branch systems, I, I think it's going to be a very interesting month to, month to sit back and watch the weather, which is exactly what we do here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video uh, this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.